Hey guys, I want to pass along a tip that I've uh, come up with about uh, forming the guardrails in the tool, in the jig. And what, I, what I've found is that when you, when you put the guardrail in the jig and, and you bend it over with your thumb, sometimes it has a tendency at, at right at the point where the bend is to sort of roll over. It's, it's not exactly, a, I mean, it's not much of an angle on this thing anyway, but, but it does tend to kind of roll over a little bit. And, and what I found that, that works pretty good is, is take your, you know, your point form tool or the stockade or whatever, and you basically push it up against the, the top of the tool, parallel with the tool, and then you come up right against there, and then you just basically kind of rock the tool over a little bit while, while putting pressure at this corner like this, okay? And to make, to make that angle, and then since the, since the tool is a 90 degree, you know, perfect angle, you can, you can get, your, get that parallel on the straight part, and then you just turn around and do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of putting pressure against this corner and then just kind of rocking it over, making it straight. And then if you can see it, you can see where the, the light is changing. There's a, there's, a, there's a much more sharp angle right there at that bend. And it, it makes it nice and precise right, right at that bend. And then, you know, of course, when you put it in the jig, if, if you need to make some adjustments, you can put it back in and move it back and forth with your thumb. But, but that initial angle has been set, you know, really, really nicely. So I just thought I'd pass that along to you.